Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, I just want to bring something to your attention. It's an article that Yana has just posted on Israeli News Live. We're going to walk you through how to get to that article. And I want to share some of my thoughts on this. Uh, I am still, and now this is my third day in, in preparation of uh, a, a broadcast I'm going to be delivering to you on Gog of Magog. Um, and I'm not even going to tell you what it's about. <laughs> it's just that in depth. But anyway, the if you go to IsraeliNewsLive.org and then scroll right down, the first articles here, opinion, and uh, Yana wrote one called The Threat of a Newly Formed Right-Wing Israeli Government, A Warning to Christians. Now, the article, when you click on this article, uh, she has all the links in here that support the information uh, that's going on in, in here. And the reason why this is a warning to Christians as well is because you have to understand this research is a fulfillment. It's going to fulfill Revelation uh, chapter 20, verse 4, the beheading of Christians. And this is why, I'm um, trying to pull that up for you real quick here. Let me just pull this up here for you. Uh, this is why this article is so important is because you read about it. We, we see it scripturally uh, that things like this are going to happen. But the reality of, of, of how that happens normally eludes uh, the, the believer to begin with because no one really seems to know, okay, where online... I mean, excuse me, where, where, where is this actually going to fulfill that? Where, when, when is this going to take place? And, um, and here we go. Sorry. Sitting here looking all around. I've got it right here on the screen already. Uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. Now, when you... Uh, Boy, let me back up to, to, to the article that she wrote here. All right. The, the importance of this is because of the Noahide laws. Israel, or let me put it like this, Netanyahu, who has set up this far right-wing government in Israel, that Israelis, more than half the population is up in arms about they're 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 protesting in the street they're crying out they're saying that you know you know basically rights of women are being taken away uh um you know they're not going to be allowed to vote it's pretty much like you're going to be sitting at the back of the bus type thing and they're talking about if a woman comes to a synagogue and she's not dressed properly she'll go to jail for six months six months and you would think for the most part, laws like this would never pass in Israel. Israel is always, as Netanyahu used to say, the only democracy in the Middle East, right? Totally nonsense. That's not true. Uh, in fact, I love it. When Jan had posted this picture here on her Facebook page here. Um, and this is actually, we, we have a bunch of little kittens that are that are wild. And so when you try to pick one up, that's the look you get on there. So she goes, what? Oh, no. Israel is a Talmudic dictatorship. And it's kind of like a little conversation of each little cat and what's going on. Really cute there. So if you're on her Facebook page, I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Um, but the article that she brings out is so in-depth. And it is supported by all the facts of what's taking place. But why it matters to Christians is because it's the first step. Israel has to be the head of the new world order. They're going to take scriptures like, uh, and I don't have it up on that screen, but I have it up over here on another computer where I'm doing my work at, uh, Isaiah chapter 2, and I'll pull that up just so we have it. Let me just quickly, I uh, want you to be able to see this as well. In Isaiah chapter 2, um, we have where the law, verse 3 um, hang on. Sorry, I'm in the wrong, wrong spot here. Here we go. And many people should go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. And we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Now that is fulfilled in Christ Jesus. There's no question about it. Most Christians would know that. Uh, 
he will judge between the nations and shall decide for many peoples and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks right this is uh this is what is being promoted as a futuristic prophecy and Israel is going to be the head. Why do you think we have these wars that are going on? Why do you think the Ukraine war? Why do you think, which is much deeper than just Ukraine war. In fact, part of what I'm working on here is, is dealing with that. But uh, why do you think there's going to be a war uh, with Russia? Uh, not just with Ukraine and Russia and NATO, but even coming against Israel. Um, you know, and they're going to call that Gog of Magog battle. Why do you think China and Taiwan... Why do you think Iran, Israel, all these different battles that are happening, they're setting the stage for you. And you're going to find out today when I do this other video here, just how, who controls all these global leaders. I'm talking about in a depth you've never even thought about before. They're pulling all the strings to make it appear as if prophecy is fulfilling. And then, of course, if Israel is going to be the head of the New World Order, which They've got so much evangelical support, about 80% of evangelical support Israel. And when you're supporting Israel, you're supporting this uh, theocracy. You're supporting this Talmudic state that is happening right now. And, of course, they're going to uh, disseminate the Noahide laws upon the Gentiles. And as Tobia Singer says, uh, is seven is just the surface laws. There's more than 100 sub-laws, which include the beheading, your beheadings. So... And this article that, uh, that Yana has written over here is the first step so that you kind of see what's going on, how this is rising, uh, who the people are in Netanyahu's government. And sadly enough to think that Christians uh, support Netanyahu's government right now, totally different than anything has ever been before. Um, and, 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 and I've got another thing I'm going to share with you guys myself, uh, some different uh supposed to be Christian organizations that are supporting his government and, and, and making it look like Gevir is some passive uh, Christian loving person, you know, that, you know, where, which he was part of the Khani group there that would pour gasoline down the throats of little 14 year old Palestinian children and burn them alive. Yeah, right. Okay. Really passive, isn't he? So when you get in here and you read this article, like I said, you know, everything has got the, the source that goes with it. Um, uh, like here, uh, she has here, Netanyahu continued, we will define in the law of Gomeria as a basis for the Israeli legal system. The existence of the state of Israel as a Jewish state does not actualize itself enough in our basic laws, which is what the proposed law aims to fix there. And then you got right there the source. You just click on it, and it takes you right to uh, uh, Arut Shiva, Israel's national news there. And you can read more about what he says on that. It is, in my opinion, an amazing piece that she put together. Um, and it is an eye-opener. And, and I will tell you something. It's this type of work here that caused the evils that came against our family, uh, that caused my father-in-law to lose his life and everything. So when you read something like this, please keep in mind this type of work has come at a severe and major cost to our family. And um, uh, so it is a bravery beyond bravery uh, for, for my wife to stand back up and once again take on this battle for your sakes. And I say that in sincerity. It is for the sake of the believers. She's concerned deeply for you uh, that... You're going to go right into a trap, right into a beast kingdom. And I take it from that biblical aspect that I'm working on over here. Uh, I kind of combine it together with, with the biblical side and with the, uh, the, 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 the events that are happening in the world and try to bring it together and taking even in the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, things like that, and show you exactly what's going on from that aspect. So together... We take from different angles, and then we come together, and we even do videos together on these things as well. That's why I encourage you to also, on her Odyssey channel, and let me just share that with you again. If you go to odyssey.com, uh, because Jana does, and she is going to have more and more exclusive content that's just only going over there. If you go to odyssey.com, and you were to type in Israeli uh, News Live, 
you know, just Israeli News Live, it'll bring you directly to her channel. Uh, and you'll see that on there. Uh, you got other things that pop up there, but there she is right there. Yana's picture there, uh, Israeli News Live. Jump on over there. 523 people are following right now. Uh, but follow, uh, you know, join, subscribe, whatever the case may be. And you can be able to listen to the content that she's, she, she shares there as well. Uh, and she is trying to do a couple of videos a week. That's kind of her goal right now. Also, book reviews. Book reviews will be exclusively on her Odyssey channel there. So I'm sure you're going to want to see that. Uh, I've been sharing them a little bit through iConnectFX.com, Israeli News Live, and then uh, sharing that over on YouTube, 30 second clips there. But, and we still will have some of those from time to time on both sides. But, uh, but, but especially, like I said, in the book reviews, those will mainly be on her channel only. And I'm sure you will want to know that information because very, very insightful. Uh, listen, if everything that uh, we're doing, if it is a blessing to you and it is something that uh, God lays upon your heart and you feel that you want to support the work that we do here, uh, always there at the top right hand side of the, uh, of the website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. You can donate right there online. It's the fastest way to do that. Um, and uh, just by clicking the butter button under or donate online or by mail to Noon Institute, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee 37872. Thank you for your kindness, and we appreciate you tremendously.